There's Kingston. Yeah, you're not seeing it. Gosh. Well, I can see Kingston right there. See the ocean right now. It was raining today. First time it rained. This is June 6th. There's Kingston right there. And I'm on top of Blue Mountain, the very top of the last, almost the last hostel in the middle. Wow. Gorgeous. There's the ocean, Caribbean Sea. Check that out. Well, I don't know if it's a Caribbean. It might not be, huh? You're not on the right side. Well, yeah, it's been cloudy for every day. Wow, that's a nice canyon. Well, I hope you see all my other videos. Kingston. I hope she sees my rest of my videos, but I want to show you me somebody. You've already seen him, but this guy, I met him last night, and I was on the airlines. I was on an airline, and the guy goes, man, he goes, don't go to Blue Mountain, go to Strawberry Fields. So, so I turned around and decided to go Blue Mountain anyway. I'm glad I did. <laughs> what a life, man. That's your way up here in life. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Blue sky. Check this out. Finally getting the suntan. Been over three weeks living in United States, Oregon. Feels good, guys. June. But I was telling the guy, I said, you know where Strawberry Fields is at? And he goes, I live right, right next to it. And I said, what? And he goes, yeah, I live in, right close to St. Mary's. So he offered me the place to live at for free. I says, I'll tell you what, you don't charge me rent, I'll make sure we'll eat like kings every day and go buy women's beers. And he just says, hell yeah, we're gone. So it looks like I'm not going to be up here 26 days or 23 days like I wanted to. Looks like I, I'm going to take off the day after my birthday. But I want to tell you, everybody, that we're going to turn around and go up to Blue Mountain, him and me, and I'm going to spend my birthday up on Blue Mountain Peak. Uh, I think that'd be bitching. And I met this guy right over here. He has a goat for sale. And so hopefully that we can jew him down and be able to film a best barbecue and a goat. Or making curry goat is what they're talking about. But you see this cactus right here? In Mexico, in Mexico, they get this cactus and they lay it on the bottom of the big old huge pot and side it, put siding around it with these leaves. And they turn around and cover, put the goat with seasoning and everything and cover it up with these leaves and slow cook it like for 16 hours. Even, well, I think it was 12 hours. The guy spent all night. He cooked the 12 hours on mine. And the meat, you, well, you just pick the bones out of the meat. Best. And then you throw it in some type of uh, chili sauce. 
Well, I'll show you where I'm at so everybody can know where to come at. You just tell them you want to come up here, but this is what's going on. Wildflower Lodge is where I'm at. And this is the view you have. There's one hostel there, like I said, one up there. But uh, they were telling me that you can get a bus all the way up here from Kingston to up here for around five or six hundred. And I paid 600 Jamaican dollars. I paid 10,300 to get up here. But I don't think you can find a taxi that's going to come all the way up here in a van. You need a four wheel drive. So they take you to Mavis Bank. There's a police station there. And they can call up the owner and have him pick you up. And he charges you 500 Jamaican dollars, which is uh, 116 is what I paid some money for. There you go, right there. There's the phone number. Everybody comes up here at night time all these people growers and they hang out here and this is how I met this guy he's only been up here two days and he's a Jamaican it's the first time he's up here so he says before I die I gotta go see my land before I die <laughs> so so he's gonna he's gonna be my mule he's gonna carry my no he's carrying his house with him in his bed you know luckily I, I brought two airbags with me man thinking I was gonna find some beautiful woman to sleep with me but fuck I'm gonna be sleeping with this ugly guy shit man <laughs> oh, we've been laughing we've been laughing I've been keeping these guys laughing all this time well <laughs> obviously uh, day four video <laughs> I'll tell them what's going to happen tomorrow. Not too much. Sunday, going to be quiet. A lot of marijuana smoking. Sunday night, it's going to be a good good night. Yeah, Sunday night, I'm going to be really partying, hopefully. Well, and you get to see the party. I, pr I promise you. I, trust me. I, I promise you all, okay? One more view of Kingston for y'all. You can shut off the video if you want to. But I think you need to check these homes out here. There's a house there. It's like a little village there. I would like to have a house there. Oh, I remember there's a whole bunch of little stores right there. A couple little stores. No, I've never been there. I don't think, yeah, you probably passed by. Yeah, because the road zigzags down. No, you know what? I came up over the other side of the mountain. I haven't been down there yet. No, haven't been there. Well, probably. But I hope you guys see strawberry fields. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of communities there. And you can set your tents up. And, uh... But I get private land to live on. That's what's cool. Private land. <laughs> Free rent. You're going to see the video for sure. Take care. It's weird. I've been living in Mexico for eight years and I hear commercials in English. <laughs> it just cracks me up. Seeing, reading signs I can read. Hey, okay, I know where this is at. You <laughs> know
Oh, I'm going to, I found this town that's over the mountain, and they have water coming on the very top of the peak, and everybody, all the town, everybody's driving, getting their water there. So I'm going to walk down there and get some water from there, and I'm going to filterize it, because I'm running out of drinking water. So, but I think everybody's just drinking this water. Uh, they're not even filterizing it. So I'll, I'll show you the walk, okay, tomorrow. I mean, I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. I'd like to do it today, but we already walked down there, and it's like a 20-minute walk. And it started raining today, so I don't want to catch the rain. It doesn't look like it's going to rain today, the rest of the day, which is good. I haven't had enough rain in Oregon and in Portland. Lockheed and Lockheed with me. 